Hello guys, this is Anish Vijaya with another tutorial and this is on how to make a throw sort of thing. I know so many people have been asking me how to do this. Um, it actually took me a while to figure it out, but I didn't figure it out actually. A guy called Animated Craft helped me out. Um, I will put his channel, his channel link in the description and make sure to check him out. He has a lot of subscribers and a lot of views. He made uh, Cable Horrors animation in Cinema 4D so I suggest checking out his channel so this is how it looks it is like you can probably make it better than me it's just a small show so let's make a new one I'll just show you the basics first let's oh that's not right and let's move this up here let's rotate it around whoa what am I doing Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, rear view and front view. I'm not going to go through everything because it just takes too long. Join tool, hold control, make the joins. And function F1. Objects, grab this out, delete the root. And right click character tags, constraint. Okay, so now is the new part. Um, so uh, make the constraint to generator and a PSR. Go into the PSR and drag in your fourth joint, which is this tiny dot there. And you want to rota rotate that correctly. Um, you can actually use the coordinates of this, I think. 90. And 15. Okay, that's not right. Uh, yeah, you can't use that. Uh, okay, just get it the correct place. Doesn't have to be exact, but yeah, for, for you, it probably has to be exact. Okay, uh, now get the offset. Go to the offset of the constraint. Just position it like this. Get the offset. And okay, that's about right. And it's not in a good position but it's okay now we need to tell the constraint which oh we already told it yeah the target is joint number four which means the constraint is already working so when we move this it should move the axe also with it uh, now we want it to tell uh, we want it uh, to follow a different object so not the joint uh, and so let's just first make the movement the throw and keyframe. Okay, uh, so now I got that. So we want it to release over here. Uh, so go into the constraint. Uh, now go and click on your fourth joint, Alt G, to group it and drag that out. Get the null over here. And let's add a keyframe of the null over here. And uh, make the keyframe linear, so click on it. This is very important, you need to do this before, otherwise you get a weird movement. And now go one keyframe back, and go to the constraint, and uh, hold control, and click on this small dot here next to the target, and drag in your now, uh, go to the next keyframe where you made your keyframe, um, where you made your frame of the now, keyframe of the now, and drag in your now, and now click on it again, hold control and click on it again. And now it should let go when it hits there because we set the target to a different thing, which is the now. So now when we move the now, it should move the axe with it. Um, okay, so now we need to make the movement. So just all we have to do is make a keyframe and let's make them throw it up here. Make the keyframe linear also. And okay. Like that. So yeah, that's how you do that. And I want to show you I'm gonna put a new download of my uh LIB4D folder. Make sure to watch my tutorial on how to install it. So whenever you go to presets and my folder over here, and go into blocks, you have all the blocks here, and if you go into buildings, you have I I added this simulation of the rain 
So when you hit play, it rains, and when you hit this render button, it'll have ripples, and you can use that in your animations. Uh, and I added pistons, and if you click on it, you have this option of retracting and stuff like that. And you have button. And I'm also making clouds, it's basically an emitter and it emits uh, transparent, sort of translucent sort of objects, which is a cloud. And what else? Uh, where is the last one? A button. I added a button. <laughs> uh, it's just a small thing, really. I just use so all you have to do is that. And to add keyframes, you just hold control. Let's go to the frame you want to be pushed. Hold control, click. Next frame. Hold control, click. Next frame. Put this at zero, hold control, click. Okay, so now I have a button. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'm also going to model a book and make sure uh, I will have a simulation going with the book. Uh, and yeah, so thanks for watching. and. Uh, bye.